Okay. I'm going to talk to you guys today about the current state of cross-laminated timber. Uh, my name is Kyle Sullivan. I'm a first year master's student at Oregon State University. I'm double majoring in wood science engineering and structural engineering. So cross-laminated timber is commonly referred to as CLT. So when I say CLT, that's what I mean for the rest of this presentation. Uh, this is a picture of cross-laminated timber, just so you guys get an idea of it. It's uh, um, sawn boards, 2x4s, two 2x6s, by two by that are glued together perpendicularly to each other. Uh, any, they can range anywhere between 3 and 9 layers, depending on what you want to use them for. Uh, right here is the residence where the CLT panels are being used as a floor system as well as a ceiling system. Um, normally, uh, well, the niche of CLT is going to be a mid-rise structure, not residences. Uh, so this could possibly be a mid-rise structure, but you also see that uh, they're being used as walls, so they're structural walls and they can take heavy loads. A uh, good thing about CLT is that they're prefabricated in a factory, meaning that they're cut very precisely, and which means you can install them very precisely. You can install them very easily and very quickly with a few number of men, so therefore the project will end up being less expensive, which is good for construction. Uh, so this is a brief outline of what we're going to cover today about the state of CLT. So we're going to go over solutions and discoveries with uh, innovation and performance-based code and solutions. First, so right now in the construction industry with cross laminated timber, what we need is solutions. So we need uh, solutions for earthquake loads. We need solutions for the fact that wood expands under different humidities and can and contract. So like I said, it's prefabricated, uh, meaning it's cut very precisely. So if it expands or shrinks, you know, we might see bigger errors than if it was normal uh, construction. Uh, you'll see errors like this, as well as in the finished product, which is not what we want. Um, we also need solutions for how to get these CLT projects to come together. We're going to have four components of a construction project. We're going to have the architect, the engineer, the contractor, and the fabricator. We need them all to come together uh, you know, very well in order to have a successful project. So our first topic we're going to talk about is innovation. So with this CLT technology, it's new, um, we need holistic innovation. We need to cover all the parts of the uh, parts of the project when we're thinking about a CLT project. Uh, basically, if we think of CLT as a building system instead of a building material, we will get projects that are faster, cheaper, and safer what we want in construction. Uh, for instance, you have to think about uh, wood um, will you know, hold water and when it gets wet, unlike concrete or steel. So that's something you have to think about during construction. And once uh, the water gets in the wood, it stays in there. It's really hard to get out. So you'll, your project might end up longer than it should have taken, which completely cancels out the point of doing the CLT project. Uh, we need to so with a CLT project, you need to design the entire uh, building or structure first. Uh, that is because all these panels are prefabricated and fit together. Um, so you have to design it first before you start construction. Um, there are construction projects where you design and construct at the same time. So this that type of project can happen with CLT. Another uh, fact about CLT is that Unlike with light gauge wood construction, wood frame houses where the walls are hollow, where you can put piping and electrical systems in the walls, with CLT, the walls are solid, so you can't do that. So we have to think about this ahead of time. This is a diagram of the piping and electrical systems in this building. Uh, the next part of our solutions is performance based code. So, the United States uh, does not have building codes that are uh, performance-based for the most part. Um, for instance, performance-based code might say that your structure, no matter what the building materials, needs to burn predictably for three hours before it fails structurally. Um, a non-performance-based fire code would say uh, steel can last two hours, concrete can last three hours, and wood lasts one hour. That is materials-based, which is uh, so the U.S. is behind Canada and Europe in this aspect uh, significantly. So they have more poor performance-based goods than we do. Um, so another 
a good thing with CLT is that it's very thermally insulative and passive house here. These are different types of houses with heat gains, heat loss. So the passive house can use CLT panels and it will lose a lot less heat, which means you need to put a lot less heat into it in order to keep it at a comfortable temperature. So uh, the next part, I'm going to talk about the current state of grassland and timber is some discoveries we're seeing as we uh, have different projects. So I'm going to talk about uh, this building built by Lendley's in Australia. It's called Forte. It's a 10-story apartment building, polished CLT building world right now. Um, they came across a few uh, surprises during and after construction. So they were unsure whether wood would be accepted by the people moving into this building. And in fact, it was. People wanted to see more wood in the building after they saw what was actually in it. Uh, this building didn't include any parking spaces, so when they decided, you know, sustainability, people are going to ride their bikes, they don't need cars. People still wanted cars, so they didn't see as many people moving into this building initially. Um, one issue that came up during construction is that the contractor was trying to seal all the joints and seal all the wood, so it couldn't breathe it off. The wood needs to breathe in order to release moisture and take in moisture. So when they had to say, uh, you have to redo this, so that is another discovery that might not be immediately recognizable. Um, they also, uh, so there's a library that was built nearby by Lindley's with CLT. Um, they have a lot of heavy books inside and actually with the CLT and the uh, heavy books inside the library they saw a lot less vibration so it took uh, really damp the vibrations which is good for seismic fluids. Uh, so that is something that came across uh, during that, pre during that uh, project. Um, so I just covered solutions that we need going forward in the uh, construction industry with CLT, as well as some discoveries that we're seeing right now. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, I split into two parts, looking at how how you were presenting and then how your presentation was. Um, I think you had a good voice and I could understand you clearly. What you sometimes did is you shifted and stood sideways. And when you stood sideways, you were speaking that direction and your voice faded. Probably wasn't as good to understand further in the back. It was still okay here. And also that moving around made it harder to focus on you. Although I, I really like the, the choice of your shirt color because that, it's, it's really bright and it catches. <laughs> Catches uh, the attention um, about the presentation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you make up for that in the presentation? <laughs> Which is what I'm going to talk about now. Um, uh, of, I think you 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 made the structure really nice and clear with the introduction, and then going to several steps that you want to uh, let us know about. Although I didn't quite get the tie-in of that energy gain and loss slide, um, I think you probably could have dwelled on that a little longer, or you should have left it out altogether. Apart from that, yeah, awesome. So you were six minutes and fifty-six seconds. You were like spot on seven minutes. Okay. You you have a lot on your stuff, and. Some of them are sneaky ones, but a lot of our transition makes it to pay attention when you're switching. Because if you look, if you turn to look at the slide and you come up, I would love it. Is that the one? It goes away. You did a good explanation. You're going to clean up a good explanation of CLT. One of your slides didn't play well. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but you had that little formula thing with the. That was on purpose. The that was to uh, be for the computer programmers in the crowd. Oh, I don't like that. So, so you have, did you see how it played? It played? No, I got it. No, that was supposed to be like that. So I'll go with the line. What? Have a look at it. It wasn't lined up. Like it wasn't lined up right. It's the, it's the problem going to a different screen. It's actually not valid computer mode. <laughs> but but <laughs> it, it, the way you did it was, uh, it, I don't know. I, Wait, what's wrong with it? It's just, it, you, I mean, your close parentheses is kind of, I don't know where they're. So that's why people often write it. Is it? Yeah, you can focus on the actual computer needs. So it should be able to do that. You should have two equals in the end and one equal below. Uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not catch that for sure. But it is kind of garbage, you know, but, it's on the computer. Yeah, well, that was okay. But then the other thing was about attribution. And you have a couple of schematics up there that I don't think are yours. Like the, the, uh, the 
interior. Come on, log up? Okay. That I made that. Okay, no, no, the schematic of the piping and diagrams and stuff really. Oh, there was a, okay. So I couldn't really see that. You just gotta make it more. That is a minute small. It's a bit, okay. Yeah, so that's probably a little bit too small. Okay. I, I know I didn't even see that on the corner. Okay. So make it a little bit bigger. Um, and you had a good wrap up. You did that to dance around a lot. Yeah. And you just, you just need to work on that kind of transitional work so you can play the arms and the house. Because other than that. Yeah, you, you, you know, a lot of, uh, or if you were the slide, then you could. So it's kind of a hard way to do it all sometimes. And that might be why you had some of the, of the knowledge. I think the less words you have, probably the more practice you need to, uh, to get it down smooth. So you, you, you have a you know, good section where you go through the slides and describe it well, and then, then you pause it a lot of times. Okay. Um, just one point at the beginning, you said you're a dual major with wood science and structural and structural. You know, <laughs> it's so long to say civil so engineering concentration in structural side, you just end up saying. I just say civil engineering. I just say civil engineering. Oh, but it's so broad though. Well, it's broad, so I'd say you're doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also, every, most slides are all lowercase, that's the uh, decision or just. Yeah, it's artistic decision. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, and, and the picture is fine, it looks a little odd and very. And the outline that won't work. Yeah. Um, okay. And then the next one had some up. You had um, some, you showed the, the wood with the uh, direction, then you used big space again. Happened. That all happened. Yeah, look, I I guess I could. Well, that was a picture. I didn't add those to it. Oh, you didn't add it? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I guess it messes up the yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's just like, I mean, you'll see all the work case and the uh, technical problems. Um, and I agree with the. Uh, Said about that, gain and loss have confusion. Right? Yeah. It looks to me like we're insane. Gain is positive, loss is negative, and add to zero. It's easy for explanation. Oh, okay. Either that or we're out. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I want to see that like the path pass loose is less heat versus moderate. What, what's the what's the top and bottom? Yeah. How much it's you need to put into it to keep it to keep it warm? So it, it will cancel out. Because then you'll keep it loose and put back in. You could have been talking with a hole in it. One right here. Yeah, the hole is going to fill it faster. And you're trying to do it. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Why don't you just get rid of the bottom half? Yeah, the bottom half doesn't get lost. Yeah, or get rid of the bottom half. Yeah, it was hard to uh, okay. get yeah, to the bottom half. Yeah, it was hard to get to the bottom half. Yeah, it was hard to get to the bottom half. Yeah, it was hard to get to the bottom half. Yeah, it was hard to get to and the just know it's not the Yeah. On the positive side, I can read the legend in <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, uh, I did block out, like, parts of it, so it was that. Uh, okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. You blocked out some of the back and some of the label stuff, which is good. It's pretty yeah. amazing, though. Yeah. Right, because that's what happened last time. What was the biggest one with the boxes? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have one. Don't I don't know. I didn't really expect it. Pretty sure mine is my mail slot. The mailman will never close. Really? It's open every day. Even my cookie or something. Like yeah. yeah. I'm just going to ask this. Did, did you invent a term? What's that? Sneaky ums. So you're saying if someone wasn't trying to catch them, they wouldn't? Oh, they're there. They, they just don't make them sound. They're not yeah. as smooth. No, I know. They're not as smooth as you think. How's that? I pick them up. Yeah. Always have. What do people say? Oh. Well, like well, Logan did his sound, oh, wow. he said like five bombs every sentence. Like, I was trying to. Who will have it? Like 20 minutes. Okay. 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 Okay.